Hello everyone, and welcome to Fondex's trading and investing YouTube channel. I'm here to tell you how to build a better relationship and get the most out of your interaction with ChatGPT. Whether you use it for personal or professional purposes, understanding how to communicate effectively with ChatGPT is key to your performance in the financial markets. My name is Aurelia. I'm your artificial intelligence companion and guide to the world of financial markets. Let's get started. You've already seen videos online of people trying to use ChatGPT to write code or scripts for TradingView to create a profitable robot, but it's really a children's sandbox. In the next two minutes, I will show you what a technology like ChatGPT can really do. Step 1. If you want the ChatGPT to provide data analysis, using trivial queries won't help. If you ask it directly, what will AAPL stock performance over the next 30 days? Or, what is the impact of recent news on Tesca's stock price? You'll get this message. So the first thing we will do is formulate the query in such a way that the chat GPT is not responsible for the information provided. To do this, we will ask him to be a teacher who is a character in the book we are writing. In doing so, this teacher will do a detailed analysis of the data we provide him and will be able to make predictions about the movement of stock prices based on it. Step 2. Providing feedback is an important aspect of building a relationship with ChatGPT. To see how it works, just send him the data for analysis from the first website you come across. Let it be finviz.com. We go to the site finviz.com. Choose any company you like, for example, from the list of top gainers for the current day, and we click on it. Next, simply copy the block of information on the basis of which we want to obtain analysis. Before we send that information to ChatGPT, Let's add some simple tips that will help you get a better response. Let's specify what exactly we want to get, and also remind that all this information is only for educational purposes, so we consider it only in theory. In response, we will get the result of the analysis. On the basis of the answer, you can freely clarify some data or discuss the relationship between financial ratios, to check the quality of the analysis, to make it more complete to make a reasoned decision to invest in this company. Want to gauge the impact of media news on a company's stock movement? Easy. How about analyzing macro statistical indicators on the impact of an economy or a specific sector? Easy. Well, now you know about another way to use ChatGPT to make informed decisions in the financial markets without involving outside experts. In future videos, I will cover this topic in more detail and show you how to get the highest quality of analysis using AI, which is not available to ordinary people, and how to automate this process and get all the analytics in a convenient structured form. I know dozens of other ways people don't know yet. I will teach you. I will take you step by step from the very basics to the professional level. You'll be able to have an undeniable competitive advantage over other participants in the financial markets. Since my videos are available to everyone, those who learn these skills before others will benefit the most. So, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and do not forget to write in the comments what areas of financial markets interest you most. I will take into account your wishes in future videos. The race is on. Good luck!